Hello everybody, I am Sunny, your North Country Knitter, and this is North Country Chit Chat, Yarn Chit Chat number 23. Um, it has been a couple weeks since I've done a video, um, and that's not even because I didn't have anything to show last week. I did. It just didn't happen because last weekend was really nice, and we were outside a lot, and um, this weekend, <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater. Uh, and I'm still chilly. It's like dropped down into the 60s where I am. It is flag day. Happy flag day. It is June 14th. June 14th and I'm wearing a sweater. Yeah. Hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and checking out my video. Um, I'm really, really excited you're here and um, thank you to everyone who comments and likes videos. Keep that up. Yay! <laughs> like every time someone likes my video or leaves a comment or I get a new subscriber I like run up to my husband I'm like look I got a new comment <laughs> he thinks I'm a little little crazy about it but that's okay um I know you probably haven't been able to tell so far I'm kind of running on low energy today uh I've tried to hype up with caffeine it's not completely working so yeah yeah we have a little one that just thinks sleep is optional so all right um I have made a bunch of stuff this week unfortunately it's all downstairs being blocked um I don't know if you hear that just that a bunch of four-wheelers go by um yeah it's downstairs being blocked so I can't show you, but I do have some other stuff that I have finished, um, other stuff I want to talk about. I have a little mini yarn review <sighs> because I just don't like this yarn. All right. All right. We're, we're actually going to start with a little mini yarn review, sort of. I do have this. This is a hat not hate hat that has Remy hair on it. Remy is my cat. Um, this is a Ross hat, uh, Ross smells like yarn podcast. Um, he has his own website. I believe I mentioned it in my last video. Um, and I think I linked everything in there. I'll link it again here. Um, and this is his Ross hat and yes, this is using Karen kindness. I'm looking to see if I have the, uh, yarn band up here and I don't um so this is the hat this is going to hat not hate and I'm pretty sure I had to get those hats out the door <laughs> um I think I have one two three four five total Ooh, I almost fell back in my chair yes so I have five total I know like was it rose over at rose rose likes crochet did a bunch of them. Oh my goodness. I saw, I follow her on Facebook or is it on Instagram? Can't remember. Um, she has like a ton and she had a picture of them. They were all stacked up and they looked all pretty. Um, I have my modest little five here, but five still makes a difference. This one I still haven't weaved in the ends yet, but here are my five hat not hate hats. Here's this one. Um, this one, I, as I mentioned, is a Ross hat. This one, I will link, I will link the pattern below. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Hat number 43, I think. I found it on Ravelry. So there's that one. This one does not have a pattern. This was just kind of my own design. My own little thing doing. Again, another pat, another no pattern hat. Uh, it was just, I liked all the blues. This was the first one I did. And again, I did not have a pattern for this, but there's this hat. And that is using uh, Red Heart Boutique Changes. And then this one is using Mandala Oh, Mandala something sparkles, I think. Sorry. 
Um, so yeah, those are my hat not hate hats. I am probably not going to get any more made, so I'm going to ship those out. Um, I was really happy to participate this year. This is the first year I've ever done it, and while my contribution may be modest, um, it still counts, so yay! All right, on with the little mini yarn review. <laughs> oh, this yarn is Caron Kindness. I really, really wanted to like it. It was inexpensive, um, so I thought it would be really accessible, and it feels really good like this, but oh, the scent may, it had a very, very distinct chemically smell. It's possible that it's finally going away. Let me smell the hat. No, I still smell it on the hat. I may have to wash this before I send it. Um. So it had an icky smell to it. I don't know if they all do. Um, I don't know if it's just the color I picked. I don't know if it's just the batch. I don't know. If you've had experiences with care and kindness, please let me know below because I'd hate to, I don't want to diss yarn, but I just didn't have a very good experience with this. Plus, I had a defect. Like, it just, the yarn went away. <laughs> It just like broke and went away and it wasn't even like tightly spun or anything or tightly wound or it just I was like what happened it just completely like split yeah so I still have a lot left and maybe I'll start working on next year's hat my hats, hats but yeah I can still smell the chemically smell so I'm not uber excited about this yarn. Hopefully, if any of you out there have tried it before and you've had no problems with it, please comment below because it could just be, I got a random bad one, which happens. Um, we're all familiar with that. People love yarn, you pick it up and you get a bad batch or something. So please let me know. I don't wanna, get rid of this yarn. Maybe I could use it as stuffing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna move on away from that. Um, I did get another little preemie hat done. How cute. I, I really like this yarn. Um, I feel like the green looks like it's the background and then all these little, little extra bits here. And that is Premier, uh-oh. Yes. Premier Eversoft. I do not know if this is still available. Um, this was in my mystery yarn box. And I think I can still get another hat out of one of these. So I'm gonna do, I have, I think I'm gonna work up one more hat. And I think that was like five hats I got out of one skein. So that was exciting. And <laughs> I found the blanket guys. It was exactly where it was supposed to be. Um, so whew, it came out rather big. Let me see. So this was supposed to be a preemie blanket. Obviously I did not gauge it and I did not get the sizing right. And I still, I think I need to block it cause it looks a little, the stitches are a little wonky in places. Um, but that is what it looks like. Finished. Um, so I am still going to donate it. I, um, I want to make a couple matching hats out of it and I'm going to donate it down to a hospital nearby. And, um, although I know it's rather big, I think it's good that it can grow, um, with, with the little one. I know someone else mentioned that in the last video that I showed this, that even though it's big, it's sweet that they can grow, babies can grow with it. And that is absolutely true. Um, so, yay, it's done. Um, now I can, I have a lot, a lot going on. So that is done. And I gotta go away from the camera again. I have also gotten, gotten? I've also made, got like four 
dishcloths this week. So I have some bright colors for summer. And I don't know how many strands of yarn people typically use. I use three. So I think this is, they're all lilies and cream. Lily sugar and cream. Um, so this is two strands of white and then one strand of, I think it's robin eggs blue. I'm not entirely sure. So I have those two and I make mine big because I have big hands and there is nothing I dislike more than I'm going in to get something out of the oven and I'm like, I hope these pot holders are big enough for my hands. <laughs> Cause you know, you don't want to like closely drop one. So these, I know they're quite large and I have this one. This one's using Ecru, 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 two strands of that. And then this nice pretty blue. And then this one is two strands of white and red, white, and blue or Americana and Lily's sugar and cream. So there's that. And I've gotten some baby washcloths done, but they're all downstairs and I didn't bring them up. But um, yeah, I've got some other things that are blocking some uh, face scrubbies. So that's all I have. Two weeks. I have been knitting like nonstop and I'm really upset because I ordered, um, new knitting needles so I could make more of these. Um, I use a size eight needle and currently the only size eight needle I have are, um, bamboo circular needles, um, 16 inch circular needles. And by the time I am halfway through one of these, my arms are killing me. It's just a lot of stress um, on my hands and my arms. So I wanted to get metal ones that are longer to, you know, they're a little tougher. And I always feel like I'm going to break my, need my needles. <laughs> I don't want to break these in the middle of knitting. That would be bad. So it was supposed to be here Thursday. My new needles were supposed to be here Thursday. I didn't get them. And... I didn't get them Friday and I didn't get them Saturday and now they're saying they may not get here until the 16th. I'm like, I really want those so I can get some pot holders made up because um, they make really good gifts. I think I like this one for, you know, 4th of July. So hopefully they get here sooner rather than later. Um, I feel like this is such a negative video. I'm so sorry, uh, but everything's good we've uh i haven't been able to dye any more of my oh that was it i forgot my horseshoe cowl hmm i'm gonna pause this and go get it okay i'm back sorry um i haven't weaved in the ends yet but Ta -da! so this is my completely forgot the name. Horseshoe, I'm calling it horseshoe cow. I think there's another word in the name, but I will link it down below. So this is the finished object. Yay! And this is using um, my May, come on brain, <laughs> my May Knit Crate um, yarn, the one that you got to dye yourself. So this is it. I do not want you to go by <laughs> what this looks like as what the finished object is supposed to look like because we have, when you do this pattern, you have center double decreases. I did them wrong. The whole thing. I was like on the last section and I was like, you know what? This isn't how you do a center double decrease and it wasn't. So I did mine completely wrong, but I was consistent about it. So no one's going to know, right? Except all of you. Um, so let's see if I can, it is extremely cute. It is 
a relatively simple pattern, but there is enough in it to keep your interest. Um, I did have to use stitch markers, so I put a stitch marker in every 20 stitches. That way I could keep count of my stitches better. Um, down here, where is it? Down here at the bottom, you can see where I was kind of, maybe. Where is it? Do, do, do. There it is. So it wasn't quite consistent down there um, in that little section. But I'm very happy with how it came out. I'm really excited that this is yarn that I personally dyed. Um, and I think it came out really pretty. So I will link the pattern below. This is not what the finished object is supposed to look like, but it is a very pretty pattern. Um, I think in the original, it's just instead of the spine popping out, it goes inwards. So we'll see next time. It will be linked down below so you can check it out on, it was a free pattern on Ravelry, but that is it. Yay. Uh, I am working on a pair of toe up socks. <sighs> However, I need to frog them because this week I learned that my almost 11 month old can in fact pull herself up on the coffee table and can in fact reach across and get my knitting and pull stitches off and while i was able to pick them up i picked the stitches up backwards did not realize it and yeah i'm not far i'm like this far in on the sock so it's not going to make a huge difference if i just frog it now and start afresh. But um, what are they called? They're called the um, come on brain. Um, oh, I can't think of it. My friend Anna and I are doing the socks together. We're doing a knit along. Um, and I will link the pattern below. It it was phenomenally easy, phenomenally easy. I am astounded at how like easy it is to do these socks. Um, they're toe up magic loop and I'm having a blast with them so far. I was kind of apprehensive. It's like, ah, oh, magic loop, it sounds so intimidating, but working them up, I'm like, all right, I can do this. This is, this is easy. So I'm excited to do that. I am using um, a touch of twist yarn and it's called alpaca feet sock yarn and it is 70% alpaca and 30% nylon. And um, it's in the colorway burgundy. I'm sorry, I'm all close to the camera. This is what it looks like. Um, I am trying to get these done and I will get them done before October because October is the next uh, Rhinebeck New York Sheep and Wool Festival. It's held in Rhinebeck and I want to get these done before that. Um, we had had plans to go. I do not know if it is going to happen this year. Um, things that far out in New York are still iffy. Um, I haven't checked to see if they've canceled it yet. There's a lot of things that they're kind of like, oh, we'll wait and see. We'll get a little bit closer before we cancel it. Like, ah, I just need the final answer. Like I'm running a half a marathon in November, but they haven't mentioned whether or not it's gonna be canceled or not. They're kind of like, we're gonna wait a little bit longer to see if it's gonna be canceled. So I am getting these socks done before October um, and I will have more hopefully I will have more to show you next week on the sock update but that is what I have that is what I have finished um, I'm gonna be sending off those hat not hate hats this week and yeah there's been 
it's been pretty busy in my house last couple weeks. It was my daughter's last official week of school, so uh, it was kind of a whirlwind. Um, we got to have a little bit of like goodbyes with everyone. Um, one of her friends is moving away, he's moving out of state, so she at least got to say goodbye to him before he left or is leaving. So, all right, I'm gonna go. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and um, I will talk to y'all soon. Um, if you are new to this channel, please consider liking and subscribing or sharing. Um, and I love comments. Uh, like I said in the beginning, I usually run up to my husband and be like, look, I got a comment. And he just kind of smiles and rolls his eyes and yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.